But pay attention to the headlines, man. Like, it goes from anything Trump does, we have to make sure he's the evil orange man satan and anybody that sides with him is is part of the insurrection these are all we need to spy on them we need to kick them off a banking we need to kick them off of social media but over here with biden and kamala it's like oh ladies don't forget to wear your pearls because this is history in the making now that we have a black female vice president sky's the limit and don't forget to wear your Chuck Taylors because she is a lady of fashion. It's like, what? <laughs> Let's just look past all the people she put in jail and how she hid evidence that would have got people off a of death row, innocent people, and so on. And y'all want to focus on, don't forget to wear your pearls. And I wish I had the, the, the documents or the numbers in front of me where they, they say how unliked she was. Leading up to the, so and why she basically abandoned ship when Tulsi Gabbard you know demolished her and we've talked about that and how many just unfavorable numbers were it on her side she was in single digits approval rating in the primaries when all, when you had twenty Democrats up there Beth O'Rourke Tulsi Gabbard uh, what's her name Pocahontas <laughs> uh, which by the way Trump is a genius at branding he had these linguistic kill shots he will come up with a, a little thing of words like lion ted you know because ted got them little eyes and shit where he look like he's lying or he'll be like low energy jeb I'm talking about jeb bush oh he's low energy and then once you see it it sticks and it's hard to like yeah. man he kind of does look a little he's yeah. very like mild mannered and then when elizabeth warren was trying to claim that she was a native american he started calling her pocahontas <laughs> See, at first, I'm like, man, this dude's mean, bro. Why is he clowning this poor Native American woman? And then you, and then you find out, like, ah, oh, man, this trick was lying.